Tag 296, die Hitzewelle. So, was haben wir diesmal für Werbung? Die gewagt, das gewagt dann schon vor. Okay, das hatten wir schon mal. AS Rainbow. Uh, beeindruckendes neues PC-Entertainment-System. Das nehmen wir auf jeden Fall. Aha, Strom schon wieder. Okay. Kann ich mich jetzt wieder drehen? Ja, okay. Ach, der wird die Durchsageanlage. So, ich will das PC Entertainment Team auf jeden Fall da drin haben. Na. Wie ein freundliches Ferienlager mitten der freien Natur. Na. Was so schnell? I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main headlines tonight. Siege mentality. The World Council today established a military blockade to enforce the unjust and punitive sanctions now entering their 10th week. In a statement from team headquarters a short time ago, Prime Minister Julia Salisbury issued a commanding response to this unprovoked escalation. The World Council should make no mistake. Okay, das hier scheint noch zu funktionieren. Okay, gut. Wow. Läuft bei denen. engagement, The separation of celebrity lovebirds Johnny Hansleaves and Tiffany Lamour has been the subject of fierce speculation in the tabloids. But earlier today, Johnny finally spoke out. Johnny has said he's received an outpouring of support after coming out as gay at a press conference earlier today. In a heartfelt statement, he said that despite the fear of reprisals, it was time he finally shared his truth in the hope that gay young people would see that there's no shame in being a footballer. In it to win it. Exciting news from Advance today with the announcement of a new monthly prize draw for all team membership card holders. Uh, Every month, you. lucky winners from across the country will be picked at random to receive what Team HQ are describing as unique prizes worth more than money used to be. Take up on the scheme has been much higher than expected, and if it's lucky winners delighted faces <laughs> anything to go by, it looks like pretty soon is everyone's super. going to have to have one. Flood-hearted, a shocking inspection of Remington Smith's new flood factory has revealed health concerns that could leave the groundbreaking facility's future in doubt. After the public's lukewarm response to the industrial plant, the troubling report that found a possible long-term risk to shop floor workers could be the final nail in the coffin. CEO Sophia Remington, however, was optimistic that her employees would remain loyal. But perhaps she spoke too soon, as these photos clearly show Workers are taking the warnings very seriously, and some have even abandoned their posts to seek medical advice. It seems like my mother was wrong. A flood a day won't keep the doctor away. Talking things through, That's bitter. a momentous subterranean summit today, as the imprisoned intellectuals of Dante's Taint met in what was hailed as a breakthrough for tensions in the tunnels. With no help from the surface forthcoming to maintain the okay, I must alone just because of the picture. The were forced to meet in order to resolve the dispute once and for all. Photos transmitted to the service captured the surprising moment that the old rivals met face to face once more. Unfortunately, it seems the pair weren't able to forgive or forget, as reportedly Ingrid is still unhappy with David's standards of statistical significance, while David is angry that Ingrid mispronounced his name. Life during Ooh, that's wartime, bitter. as if we didn't have enough aggressors on our borders, internal problems are growing for the government, as radical activist group Disrupt caused chaos in Parliament Park last night. Scuffles broke out after the protests, resulting in multiple arrests and the injury of three community cohesion officers. 
advanced Sovieta comment. The reckless fire will certainly be remembered by all those who have seen these striking images. As their actions escalate, people across the country are asking themselves who are disrupt and what exactly do they want? Other than a new box of matches, of course. All this, and I'll be talking to some people with fascinating medical conditions, as well as one of the contenders in this year's Feline Football Championship and her proud owner. That's up on tonight's National Nightly News. Okay, oh nein, jetzt wieder das. Ja, ja, ja. Ich hab's doch gefixt. Oh, 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 nicht gut, nicht gut, nicht gut. Da ist überhitzt. Ich kann wieder, ich kann wieder, ich kann wieder. Was, 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 was? Ich kann, ich kann das Teil da oben nicht targeten. Ich konnte das Teil da oben nicht targeten. Was für eine Kacke. Gefühlt spielen wir hier den Realismus-Modus. Hier steht nämlich, der Realismus-Modus verbirgt alle nützlichen Infos und sorgt für ein authentisches, stressiges Herzinfarkt-Feeling. Gefühlt spielen wir den gerade. Und ich weiß, wir spielen ihn nicht. Und das macht mir noch mehr Sorgen. Weil ich krieg hier schon fast einen Herzinfarkt. Peter Clement and an off here. Okay, we're working on it. What, you've got someone to hose down the sun, have you? Yes, they've just strapped on their wax wings. So, Classical illusions, I don't substitute my You know, I genuinely thought you'd be in a better mood today. She's not even here. Yes, but he is. Our gun-toting handler. Who, Andy? I don't know what the fuck his name is, do I? He's here to keep us safe when people like disrupt. More like keep us in line. I hate guns. You must darauf achten, dass die Dinge halt wie nicht seconds, everybody. So, we've got any actual real news tonight? Well, the world's on fire. That good enough for you? Going in five, four, three. Ich weiß nicht, können wir das preemptively hier machen? Good evening, I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main headlines tonight. Und immer halt nacheinander zu kühlen, wird das nicht überhitzt. The World Council today established a military blockade to enforce the unjust and punitive sanctions. Wie nehmen diesmal das hier? Letztes Mal hatten wir, also die vier. Letztes Mal hatten wir ja die drei. Prime Minister Julia Salisbury issued a commanding response to this unprovoked escalation. The World Council should make no mistake. This blockade and the illegal sanctions it seeks to enforce are an act of war and will be treated as such. Any incursion, however slight, into our territory will be met with swift and deadly force. You have been warned. Beware, sun is hot. Oh, nine. Without a hitch, with the celebrity wedding of the year off the cards, rumors have been flying as to the why. Ever since they broke off their engagement, das the separation of celebrity lovers, so Johnny Hansley and Sibley Lamour, has been the subject okay, okay. of fierce speculation in the hmm. tabloids. But earlier today, Johnny finally spoke out. Johnny has said he's received an outpouring of support after coming out as gay at a press conference earlier today. In a heartfelt statement, he said that despite the fear of reprisals, it was time he finally shared his truth in the hope that gay young people would see that there's no shame in being a footballer. In it to win it, exciting news from Advance today with the announcement of a new monthly prize draw for all team membership card holders. Yeah. Every month, lucky He's winners from across lucky. the country will be picked at random to receive what Team HQ are describing as unique prizes worth more than money used to be. Take up on the scheme has been much higher than expected, and if this lucky winner's delighted face is anything to go by, it looks like pretty soon everyone's going to have to have one. That's what knapp here. Flood hearted, a shocking inspection of Remington Smith's new flood factory has revealed health concerns that could leave the groundbreaking facility's future in doubt. After the public's lukewarm response to the industrial plant, the troubling report that found a possible long term risk to shop floor workers could be the final nail in the coffin. CEO Sophia Rivington, however, was optimistic das, that her employees uh, would remain loyal. Zwei, but perhaps she spoke genommen. too soon. As these photos clearly Weil show, workers are taking the warnings das. very seriously, and some have even abandoned their posts to seek medical advice. It seems that like my mother was wrong. A Florida day won't keep the doctor away. 
talking things through. A momentous subterranean summit today, as the imprisoned intellectuals of Dante's Taint met in what was hailed as a breakthrough for tensions in the tunnels. With no help from the yep, surface war to lustig, maintain the separate factions, the two leaders were forced to meet in order to resolve the dispute once and for all. Photos transmitted to the surface Obwohl, das Bild hier sieht auch so, so ein bisschen creepy aus. Unfortunately, it seems the pair weren't able to forgive or forget, as reportedly Ingrid is still unhappy with David's standards of statistical significance, while David is angry that Ingrid mispronounced his name. Life during wartime. As if we didn't have enough aggressors on our borders, internal problems are growing for the government, as radical activist group disrupt caused chaos in Parliament Park last night. Scuffles broke out after the protest, ich würde tatsächlich hier auch immer noch bei dem gleichen Bild bleiben. Oh shit. Das war knapp. Ja. Knapp. Also muss runterkühlen. Wieso ist der ausgegangen? Du Schande, ich habe das ja sehr, sehr, sehr spät gesehen, dass der ausgegangen ist. Nein. Nein. I'm sweating like Peter Clement in an off license here. Okay, we're working on it. What, you've got someone to hose down the sun? They just strapped on their wax wings. Classical illusions are no substitute for air conditioning. You know, I genuinely thought you'd be in a better mood today. She's not even here. Yes, but he is. Our gun-toting handler. Who, Andy? I don't know what the fuck his name is, do I? He's here to keep us safe when people like disrupt. More like keep us in line. I have no idea why the ventilator sometimes goes out again. Ten seconds, everybody. That should not be. It's actual real news tonight. Well, the world's on fire. That good enough for you? Going in five, four, three. Okay, hope this time we get it. It must be something. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main headlines tonight: siege mentality. The World Council today established a military blockade to enforce the unjust and punitive sanctions now entering their 10th week. In a statement from Team Headquarters a short time ago, Prime Minister Julia Salisbury issued a commanding response to this unprovoked escalation. The World Council should make no mistake. This blockade and the illegal sanctions it seeks to enforce are an act of war and will be treated as such. Any incursion, however slight, into our territory will be met with swift and deadly force. You have been warned. Without a hitch, with a celebrity wedding of the year off the cards, rumors have been flying as to the why. Ever since they broke off their engagement, the separation of celebrity lovebirds Johnny Hansleaves and Tiffany Lamour has been the subject of fierce speculation in the tabloids. But earlier today, Johnny finally spoke out. Johnny has said he's received an outpouring of support after coming out as gay at a press conference earlier today. In a heartfelt statement, he said that despite the fear of reprisals, it was time he finally shared his truth in the hope that gay young people would see that there's no shame in being a footballer. In it to win it, exciting news from advance today with the announcement of a new monthly prize draw for all team membership card holders. Every month, lucky winners from across the country will be picked at random to receive what Team HQ are describing as unique prizes worth more than money used to be. Take up on the scheme has been much higher than expected, and if this lucky winner's delighted face is anything to go by, it looks like pretty soon everyone's going to have to have one. Flawed hearted, a shocking inspection of Remington Smith's new flood factory has revealed health concerns that could leave the groundbreaking facility's future in doubt. After the public's lukewarm response to the industrial plant, 
The troubling report that found a possible long-term risk to shop floor workers could be the final nail in the coffin. CEO Sophia Rivington, however, was optimistic that her employees would remain loyal. But perhaps she spoke too soon. As these photos clearly show, workers are taking the warnings very seriously, and some have even abandoned their posts to seek medical advice. It seems like my mother was wrong. A Florida day won't keep the doctor away. Talking things through, a momentous subterranean summit today, as the imprisoned intellectuals of Dante's Taint met in what was hailed as a breakthrough for tensions in the tunnels. With no help from the surface forthcoming to maintain the separate factions, the two leaders were forced to meet in order to resolve the dispute once and for all. Photos transmitted to the surface captured the surprising moment that the old rivals met face to face once more. Unfortunately, it seems the pair were unable to forgive or forget, as reportedly Ingrid is still unhappy with David's standards of statistical significance, while David is angry that Ingrid mispronounced his name. Life during wartime. As if we didn't have enough aggressors on our borders, internal problems are growing for the government as radical activist group Disrupt caused chaos in Parliament Park last night. Scuffles broke out after the protests, resulting in multiple arrests and the injury of three community cohesion officers. Advance have yet to comment. The reckless fire will certainly be remembered by all those who have seen these striking images. As their actions escalate, people across the country are asking themselves who are Disrupt and what exactly do they want? Other than a new box of matches, of course. All this, and I'll be talking to some people with fascinating medical conditions, as well as one of the contenders in this year's Feline Football Championship and a proud owner. That's all up on tonight's National Nightly News. Okay. Nein, nein, ihr bleibt alle hier. Bleib an. Wir behalten das hier im Auge. Ja, ja. Oh Gott. Well, first tonight. Our team of correspondents has been dispatched to every corner of the country to see how the people of this great nation of ours are coping with this unprecedented hot weather. First, let's go to Megan Wolf in Shining on Sea to see what this scientific community has to say. Megan, how's the weather there? It's absolutely glorious, Jeremy. Thank you for asking. Nein, nein. I'm here with Dr. Anna Burns at the University Bleib of Princeford. An. Are you enjoying the weather as much as I am? Oh, yes, it's wonderful, oh, isn't it? Er ist, glaube ich, gerade nicht so super right gelaunt. <laughs> and you're part of a team carrying out a study into just what's causing this unbelievable heat. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Yes, we want to be able to reassure okay, the public okay. once and for all that there's absolutely nothing to worry about and that they can enjoy their sunstroke Look and up. fossil fuels in peace. You sound very confident about that. Oh, very much so. I can say without any hesitation, there is really no cause for Was läuft da im Hintergrund? Das ist ein Tonaufnahmegerät. So tell us about this experiment. Ah, well, we take Weil data so ein bisschen so aus. from all over the world, along with atmospheric samples, and we take all that and we feed it into this state-of-the-art computer, and very soon ah, we'll okay. get a high-tech readout of Klar, the Klar, das ist ein Computer. <laughs> that sounds very fancy. Ah, I should just say, um, Uh, none of this would be possible without the generous support of Rivington's Fist. This is all oh, thanks to nein. their unrivaled investment in our future. And may I just say, blöde Lüfter halt aber auch ausgeht. Was ist das für ein oh, Kackteil? Die 5 Dollar konnte man dann etwa nicht investieren. And, ha, as expected, everything is absolutely fucked. Hang on. This, this can't be right. Uh, right, but uh, obviously you said uh, it's going to uh, be uh. Okay. Well, actually, under concern level, it just says, why, God, why? We should be celebrating these wonderful results, I think. <laughs> yeah? We need to evolve gills within 40 years. You look thirsty. Here it just says, shit, shit, shit. Look at you. This is meant to be a celebration. Oh, Come super. Like that was a bit shit, shit, shit. So much shit. Can I just say thank you again to Sophia Remington for <laughs> providing all of this? Everyone, we don't have long. Time is running, running out. out. Absolutely right. That is all we have time for. Abandon hope and return on. to the forest. Uh, enjoy that. <laughs> I'd like to thank Dr. Burns for just one opinion on the climate. The sea oh, will oh, oh, that's what it's There you have it, Jeremy. <laughs> proof, if proof be need be, that everything is just fine. I'm Megan Wolf, here with science. 
back to you. Megan Warfare attempting to do some actual news. Next, heads over to Robin Short, who's in Scritchford with some of the winners of this week's team membership lottery. Robin? Thanks, Jeremy. <laughs> I'm here in Scritchford with Gary oh, Belsafe, a janitor at the local school, and Amelia Jackhammer, an aspiring poet. Hi. Both of you were drawn at random from those who hold team membership cards to receive this week's amazing prize. How do you feel? Filled with fervent euphoria. <laughs> Uh, yeah, good, yeah. And all that we had to do was fill in a quick form or two. Wow, that sounds so convenient. But we're all dying to know. What have you won? That's right, Robin. I've won dinner with Julia Salisbury at one of the capital's top restaurants. Ooh, swanky. What is I've been invited to Peter Clement's house to help him dredge the gutter in. That's absolutely terrific. You must... Both be over the moon. I've written a poem about it. So, can oh you tell me about the moment when you first heard the news? Well, I was battling against a particularly difficult floater, probably one of the six formers, when the headmaster came and found me. I was involved in a similarly brutal conflict with a particularly arduous stanza. So you were both polishing dirt. Okay, okay, okay. No, I don't like to polish them. I like to keep them intact for my collection. Oh. How yeah, unexpected. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't oh. polish turds. I write poetry. Potato, potato. So, Gary. Do you think Not. Peter Clement's going to let me keep the contents of his downpipe? Mm -hmm. There's no harm in asking, I suppose. Or would you like to hear one? No, thank you. Gary, when you signed up for team membership, was it in hopes of winning the lottery, or were there other reasons? I like a flutter, of course, but no. The boss said I had to sign up to keep coming into school. Very sensible. It's important to know who we're trusting around our children. Oh, I have an Klar, unpublished book of songs about Sache. children. Perhaps you'd like to hear one. <laughs> no. Or an anthology ja, als of haikus on the death sehr, of the I'd rather hear aus. about Gary's turd collection. <laughs> really? <laughs> I thought you might say that. Oh. Oh. Are you all right? Yes. Oh. It's coming. Oh. Mm. It's inspiration and it's delicious. <laughs> right you are. Okay. Today on the show there's no news. Just a man who keeps multiple poos. Um. This big one's my favourite. See how it's fibrous. Really lovely texture. <laughs> Would you um. encourage other people to enter for their chance to win? Uh, if it's colour you're looking for, take a gander at all blue eyes here. The national news <laughs> lost its way. When it covered some crap on a tray. Some of these are quite rare. And maybe that was unfair. And that's all we have time for today. <laughs> Back to you, Jeremy. Thanks, Robin. What a lucky pair they are. And finally in this hey, segment, it's over to Patrick abgeht. Bannon, who's gone to the smelliest town in the country to see how the unprecedented weather is affecting the locals. Patrick? Hello there, Jeremy. Hello, yes. I'm here live in Grizzleford, which has recently voted the smelliest town in the country. And I have to say that, you know, in this heat, the smell really is. I mean, it's, 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 it's something else. Oh, 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 You've lived oh, your whole life. How would you put up with the stink? Well, we're just all very proud of our achievement, to be honest with you. You can tell that. Look at him. Proud as punk. Okay, that's how we get shot. Being the second smelliest town, no, I don't. Living in the shadow of Arsminster, those oh, smug fucks. But who's laughing now, eh? Okay, <laughs> gerade noch so ein zensiert bekommen. Uh, right, the good people from Remington Fist came in and saved the day with their factory. You're talking, of course, about the newly built Flage factory. Yeah, they gave us this big presentation on jobs and growth. But as soon as we heard about the stench, we paid them whatever they wanted to put it here. Okay. Stink not affect your life in every way, Barry. I mean, perhaps if you're not sure that 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 you're not so, what, what, what's the sickness? Uh, oh, that's nothing to worry about. It takes a few minutes before you develop any symptoms. <laughs> now, folk are saying something about the production line and how they dump carcasses directly into the water main, but I think it's probably a few valves on the high street. On the high street? Uh, should I see a doctor? What, what are the symptoms? 
Well, the first one is asking stupid questions. <laughs> Then ah, also, wie, wie gerade. Tough, do they? When was the last time you brushed your teeth, this stinking old tramp? Ah, <laughs> oh, next according is a period of randomly bursting into song, followed immediately by delusions of grandeur. Oh, that's the song of my life. Hello, it's sexy Patrick Bannon, and he's wearing sexy shorts now. Oh my God, look at me. I'm like a stallion. I'm gorgeous. Why didn't you tell me? Okay, I gut, das haben wir geschafft. You know what? I'll even let you touch me if you want. Uh, oh, that, that will be the bout of undeserved self-confidence. <laughs> Love the Bannon. Feel the Bannon. <laughs> oh, my. What's the point? And the ennui. <laughs> now, all that's left now Nein. are the hallucinations and unconsciousness. Also, das passt super gut. Hallucinationen. Why are you made out of elbows? You know, I don't eat opinions. Oh, oh. oh, don't worry, das war's wohl mit ihm. Once he wakes up, he'll be just fine. We'll just find a place to stick him where it won't matter how many times he evacuates his bowels. Right, <lacht> that's all here from Grizzleford, a town that's really making a stink. I'm Barry Lardons. Back to you, Jeremy. Nice. Right. Thanks, Ben. With a naval blockade being set up around our coastline as we speak, when we come back, I'll be talking to three members of the general public who appear to be here purely for medical reasons. Don't go away. Unless, of course, you've got something better to do. We'll be back after these messages. One minute back. Well, that was stupid, even for you. I don't care. It's done. I am done. It's 200 fucking degrees in here, and I can't do this anymore. Yeah, I can't enough for you. I've done something. What do you mean? Jeremy? My mic is still That actually looks a bit like a real tank. Oh, Next geez. guest has some unsuitable opinions for the evening news. Keep your eyes and ears peeled for subversives. Oh. It would be nice if you could try not to undermine the station tonight. People are starting to notice you now. Interessant. Ich glaube, damit machen wir uns sehr unbeliebt, aber warum nicht? Ich meine, es ist wahrscheinlich nicht die beste Idee, sich unbeliebt zu machen und das Zeug da abzuspielen, aber wir wissen, was passiert. Wow. Impressive. So you can have whatever game you can dream of. I'm Sophia Remington, and I can't wait to turn on, load up, and as the cool kids say, zone out.